Hello everyone, today we will discuss about the stem cells. So what are the stem cells? They are the undifferentiated cells. They are characterized by the self-renewal properties and by their capacity to generate into various differentiated cell lineages. Now what is its role? Now the role of the stem cells comes in two ways. One is during the development of the embryo. It is responsible for the development of various structures and various organs in the body. And then comes in the adult life. In adult life, it is important for the healing, the regeneration and maintenance of the tissues of the body. Okay, so how does the stem cells which are present, they are maintained for so long. They are maintained by two mechanisms. One is the stochastic differentiation, other is the obligatory asymmetric replication. In the first one, stochastic differentiation, what happens is, if this is a stem cell and according to the need of the body, according to uh, the situation, either the two stem cells will be formed or two differentiation, differentiated cells will be formed. But in the case of obligatory asymmetric replication, what take happens is, we will understand with the diagram, uh, what happens is, if this is a stem cell, it is obligatory and it is asymmetric, okay? So, one has to be become differentiated cell and other has to become a stem cell. So, the name is obligatory uh, and asymmetric different uh, division over here. This is how the stem cells are maintained. Now, Dividing the stem cells, they are of two types. One is the embryonic stem cell and other is the adult stem cells. To discuss the embryonic stem cell, if this is the zygote and then the zygote forms the blastocyst. Okay, The blastocyst also has inner cell mass present over here. So, the, st uh, the stem cells which are present here they are known as embryonic stem cells they are the most undifferentiated one and they have virtually limitless cell renewal capacity and they can give rise to every cell in the body so the term totipotent is coined for such cells now what is the difference between totipotent and a pluripotent stem cell it the difference is only that totipotent stem cells can give rise to placenta and embryo Okay, the placenta can only be formed by help of totipotent stem cells, whereas pluripotent stem cells can give rise to any cell in the body. Now, this is uh, this is zygote, and here we can see this is a type of totipotent stem cell. It has given rise to blastocyst. Now we have extracted few of the embryonic stem cells over here, which are pluripotent in nature, and they can form any part of the body. We can see it can form pancreas, hemopoietic cells, cardiac tissue. Okay. Further, when the differentiation takes place, the stem cells become lineage committed. Okay they are committed to a lineage over here they can form uh, uh, any like uh, they can uh, committed to blood line they can be hemopoietic derived they can be ectoderm derived they can be mesoderm derived they are committed to a lineage after the differentiation takes place Okay, now going to the adult stem cells. What are adult stem cells? They are not present uh, in journal. They are present in the specific tissue where they belong. Okay, and they are also protected within a specialized tissue microenvironment. Now this microenvironment is known as stem cell niches. What is this? We will understand the diagram over here. So here we can see this is skin over here. Okay. Now uh, it is present over here the stem cells. Stem cells are present in hair follicle bulge. They are present of the stem cells. Now this specific area where the stem cell is residing. This is known as niches. Okay. Now this is a type of a micro environment created for the stem cells. So that they can remain always protected over here. Now, 
like in intestine we can see that stem cells are present over here then in liver we can see uh, it is present over here this is known as canal of herring and this picture is uh, due to cytokeratin staining okay this is the canal of herring it is present and it is responsible for the tissue regeneration liver regeneration after it has undergone any injury okay after hepatitis the stem cells from here they are utilized in case of cornea they are present in the limbus these are also utilized these days to treat the corneal blindness okay this was about the adult stem cells and their location now we will discuss about the hemopoietic stem cells okay hemopoietic stem cells we should know that they can give rise to all the blood cell lineages now why they are so important firstly they are widely used these days so these are uh, they, they need a special mention over here also where after any depletion of the bone marrow if the bone marrow has been depleted okay due to any disease okay due to irradiation due to any leukemia or lymphoma or after we have treated that patient we have to irradiate and we have to get rid of the bone marrow cells after that the hemopoietic stem cells can be utilized from a donor person to uh, reconstitute the bone marrow so that is widely used in the treatment of various hematological diseases so here we can see this is a hemopoietic stem cell it is giving rise to all type of cells ranging from the lymphocyte the plasma cells the rbc's the neutrophils the megakaryocytes so stem cells can reconstitute hemopoietic stem cell can reconstitute the whole bone marrow now how it is used is it can be collected from the bone marrow of the donor person from the umbilical cord blood uh, the, their cord blood uh, banks now, nowadays they can be collected from there they can also be collected from the peripheral blood of the donors how it can be collected from peripheral blood is by giving that person a specific colony stimulating factors now this what will the colony stimulating factor will do it will mobilize the hemopoietic stem cells from its microenvironment to the peripheral blood so that we can collect it and for that uh, we will use uh, 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 various techniques and CD34 is positive in case of hemopoietic stem cells and we will collect it and further the bone marrow uh, transplantation can be done with use of this hemopoietic stem cells so this was all about the stem cells uh, uh, hope you like this video do like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video